Hands-on learning was on full display recently at the Northeast Louisiana Ag Expo hosted by the North Louisiana Agribusiness Council. Since the 1980s, the Ag Expo has offered a place to educate people young and old on the ways agriculture touches our daily lives. That's why the Louisiana Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers and Women's Leadership Committee were there to bring the farm to the consumers. Visitors took turns spinning the wheel to test their ag trivia and learned all about crawfish and cattle. Michelle Simino is the chair of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Women's Leadership Committee. She said events like this are a perfect place to highlight ag in the classroom resources and educate the public about where their food comes from. It is fun because a lot of children come through with their parents. A lot of uh, grandparents bring their grandchildren and they get to see when uh, crawfish, the stages of crawfish, the stages of eggs, uh, spin the wheel, do a little interactive activities, and it just goes from generation to generation. So we're happy to keep providing that in North Louisiana. At the luncheon that kicked off the weekend, longtime Farm Bureau volunteer Reynold Minsky was presented with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Along with being involved in community organizations, Minsky was on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation Board of Directors for 18 years. Still to come on Twyla, Governor Jeff Landry's inauguration commitments that resonated with farmers. Plus, mental health and agriculture is not an easy subject to talk about. A new national initiative is working to overcome the stigma. Stay with us. You're watching This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. 